It's not a wild thing that you're trying to crack, and it's also not some big mysterious algorithm. It's actually quite simple. You see, what you're doing is learning how to speak to an audience and then giving them something that they value, and that is it. Howdy howdy everyone, Nate here. So let me show you my process for getting you monetized as quickly as possible and beyond. There are four primary elements that you need in order to do this effectively. The first thing you need is actually a direction. In fact, let me show you a niche on YouTube that I would absolutely rock at. Behold my closet here, the result of a recent move that is not unpacked yet. I wanted to show you this, if you can see what these are, and all of this back here, and all of it is Lego. And also, let me show you a niche that I would do absolutely terribly at. Behold my lawn. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I don't even own a lawn. Now, the word niche or customer avatar may sound overly complex. I want you to think of it instead like this. Number one, what do I want to share in my videos? If I were doing a Lego channel, the answer to that question might be reviews, uh, fun builds, and or dropping things off of roofs. Number two, what kind of person wants to watch those videos? If I were answering this question, I would say the type of person that both likes Lego and wants to be entertained with it. Number three, what does your audience want to see in those videos. In my case, that might look like fun stories, humor, and or 10,000 pieces scattered to the wind. <laughs> in fact, if you have not yet done this for your channel or you feel like you would benefit from a refresher, I want you to pause the video and take 30 seconds each to answer each of those questions. Seriously, just 30 seconds. You'll be amazed at what you come up with very quickly if you allow yourself to focus like this. So now you're back. The reality here is the easiest direction you can take is in something that you already have a lot of experience with. Which is why when I see channels like some recent clients I've been working with that have an interest in foraging in the woods, starting fresh and learning how to forage in the woods might be very difficult. But if you already enjoy it, you've already been doing it on an ongoing basis, you have a massive advantage if you take that to YouTube. All right, and the next thing we'll need is this, time. Now the point here is growing any channel and getting monetized on any channel will take some time element because it depends on two primary things. The first being how quickly you as a creator of the channel learn and adapt for your space on YouTube, and two, on the competition already existing on YouTube for that space. We're gonna get to that learning and adapting thing here in a moment, but for this other one of the competition in the space, here's what I've seen. Competition, or having a very full topic area on YouTube, only matters in so much that you, as the person trying to get into that space, have to have a higher standard of quality before you're able to break in. And contrast that with an area on YouTube that has very little content already, your content is much more likely to pop off on its own even if the quality is lower because there just simply isn't as much on YouTube. So what that would mean for me in the case of a Lego channel is, Lego has gotten a lot of attention in the last two years on YouTube. It has absolutely exploded. So for me to be able to break into that space quickly would mean I would have to come to the table with a lot of skills skill sets already in place and a really solid understanding of how that space is playing already. Or I would need to take the time to acquire the skill sets necessary so that I can increase the quality of my videos over time so that I'm able to actually stand out in that niche. I hope you got what I just said. Because the alternate to that would be for me to focus on a lesser known or less popular niche in that space like Lepin, but ugh, we don't talk about Lepin here. Now the big question with this time factor is how do I reduce that amount of time? I've already alluded to a few of these things, but let me spell it out clearly. Option A is to come into that space with a lot of experience already. And by experience, I mean both the experience in that space, like if I already knew a lot about Lego and I had been collecting and or using it for many years, but also going into the space with a significant amount of experience on speaking the language of YouTube. We're gonna cover that a bit more here in a moment. Because option B is to learn the language of YouTube everything about the platform and how to market effectively to the audience I'm trying to target more quickly. So learning that more quickly will shorten the amount of time it takes. Now the best way that I have found to shorten the duration that it takes to learn the language of YouTube is by learning from channels like moi, such th this channel that you're watching right now. And the other way is to get more personalized help also from people like moi. In addition, there is an option C to shorten the amount of time that it will take for your channel to get monetized and grow from there. And that is to publish more often. But, 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 but hold on there, not just publishing 
publishing more often, publishing more quality videos more often. And that comes from acquiring the skill sets that you need to publish quality, helpful, or entertaining videos, which I'm about to talk about. But one more bonus thing on that, I have also found that any ways that you can acquire to automate and simplify your production process itself will allow you to publish more quickly. All right, it's time to move on to the next factor here. And this factor involves booping the like button on this video if it is being helpful to you thus far. Thank you for doing that. It really is an indicator to me that this video is genuinely answering your questions and helping you to have more clarity for your own channel. So thank you. Now here we have the third thing for getting monetized as simply as possible. And not just any learning, but in two specific areas, attracting your audience and then speaking to your audience. So that put simply is things that your audience wants to see. Now learning how to create content that your audience wants to see, your specific audience wants to see, of course takes time and effort, but here are two ways that I have found to know that you're creating intriguing content for your audience. Number one is to look at similar channels in your same space. Like if I were doing a Lego channel, I would be pretty clear on what the other players are in the space. I'd be seeing what kinds of content seems to be doing well for them and also the types of content that they're doing that I admire or that I think I could do better. The second way I would know that I was creating intriguing content for my audience is to look at the views on videos on my own channel. I often refer to views on YouTube as the ultimate conglomerate metric because usually the right combination of all the other metrics on a video contributes to a higher view count. So if you have a video that has a higher view count, you can know that that video performed better for certain reasons and it makes sense to review that video and understand, take notes on why that video did so well. So for an example on my own channel, if I were doing this, if I drop a set and it gets a million views, then I might wanna take that as an indicator that maybe I should drop more sets in the future. <laughs> now the next thing we need to do in order to attract the audience you want on your channel and monetize quickly is to learn how to package your videos. The video packaging, just like the packaging on a product in the store that makes you decide whether or not to purchase that product, is what determines what gets people into your videos in the first place, primarily with our title and thumbnail. Now with titles, there's a whole skill set that goes into creating intriguing titles, and I will definitely be making more videos like that on this channel, but I have found a shortcut that has been very effective for me, and that is to use a tool like vidIQ that allows me to input a title and then generate AI suggestions for that title based on what's working on YouTube. Now, full disclosure here, I have used vidIQ quite extensively. I also have an excellent relationship with the vidIQ team. And because of that, I've been able to snag a rather exclusive deal for you. Now, using a tool like vidIQ has been particularly helpful to me because I felt like titles for some reason is something that I'll often spend way too long to produce the title and wordsmith the perfect words. And I found when I can just get suggestions for the right words, it's made it much more simple for me. Because because the next thing for video packaging is your thumbnails and making them as simple and eye-popping as possible. Now likewise with this, there's an entire practice set of skills that make thumbnails good or bad and I will be producing videos to help with that in the future on this channel. But again, I've got to plug vidIQ here because they have a tool that allows you to take a thumbnail you've produced and see how it looks compared to other thumbnails to understand how eye-popping it is. And now we're on to the second factor of the learning aspect. The next thing you're gonna want to do is learn how to speak with your audience. Because what you gotta do here is learn how to deliver the content of your video in a way that your audience wants to consume it. So as you're learning to communicate with your audience, there are three primary things I'd be focusing on. Number one would be getting better at talking to a camera slash your audience in a way that is engaging, that makes them want to listen to you. Which by the way, this has been one of the primary things, the most often repeated things that I've been telling clients recently as I've been having conversations with them. So I'd like to know from you in the comments if you'd like additional help or you feel like you would benefit from additional help from me in understanding how to speak to an audience so that they want to listen to you. Number two, in this learning to speak with your audience, I'd be focusing on getting better at saying the same thing in less time. Getting better at delivering the same content in less time is incredibly valuable for YouTube. And the third thing I'd be focusing on here is getting better and learning and acquiring the skills to show the same thing that you were doing previously but in a more visually interesting way. And that is why you'll see me do things like this top-down camera where I have my tablet here and I'm writing things out as I go. It's because I'm asking myself this question all the time. How do I show the same thing that I was planning, but in a more visually interesting way? All right, I think we're ready for the next thing in my process here. The next thing you're doing to get monetized simply and quickly is ensuring that you are providing value 
to your audience. This may sound obvious, but I assure you it is one of the most overlooked things. What I'll often see content creators do is focus on the types of videos or the content of the videos and maybe creating an interesting video without pausing to ask themselves, what is the value that my audience is going to get out of this? Now I have thought long and hard on how I would describe delivering value or giving value to your audience in the most succinct and distilled way possible. And this is how I would remember it. Buh. Or the acronym BHH. There are three primary kinds of value that your audience is going to get from your content. They're going to feel belonging, they're going to feel happier, or they're going to feel helped. Belonging is that sense of connection that makes people feel like they are at home and they are welcomed in your content. Happier comes from a lot of different sources, humor, laughter, enjoyment, inspiration, and helped comes from giving them answers to their questions or their needs. So as you're producing your content, make sure you're asking yourself this question. Does the content I am planning provide at least one of these things? Does the content I am planning provide at least one of these three things? And then how much? Because it operates on a scale and the more you include at least one of those three things in your content, the more enjoyable of an experience your audience will have. So how do you know you are providing value for your audience? Two ways. Either A, your views are increasing, which means people are choosing to give you their value, which is their attention. If people are not getting value from your channel, you will not be getting views. Now the crazy thing here is once you are applying this process to your channel, not only will you be getting monetized more quickly, but you will also be able to apply this same process as you are reaching your next milestone on your channel and beyond. And if I can be of service to you by providing additional help to you along the way, I've put a pinned comment with how I am helping right now. So check out the links on the pinned comment and also 